Anders Fogh Rasmussen served as NATO's Secretary General from 2009 to 2014. After serving as Prime Minister of Denmark for nearly eight years, during his visit Washington this week, Rasmussen sat down with Voice of America's Natalie Liu to argue for continued strong support for Ukraine, calling the free world, a world of autocracies led by China, joined by Russia, Iran and North Korea, called on them, resist their advances. Here are some highlights from their interviews. Questions and answers have been edited for length and clarity. VOA are you in Washington this time to push for more consensus on supporting Ukraine? Rasmussen won the purposes of my visit to D.C. this time is to meet members Congress who are skeptical about continuing their support for Ukraine. I would tell them that it is in the interest of America's national security to ensure Ukraine's victory and Russia's defeat. I would tell them that the Europeans are doing their part. Putin's victory in Ukraine would harm America's national security interests. This will encourage Xi Jinping to take over Taiwan. It will strengthen axis of autocracies led by China, joined by Russia, North Korea Iran, and weaken the alliance between United States Europe. If we cannot trust American leadership, this will fuel voices in Europe advocating a more independent European role as a mediator between Washington and Beijing. I think this would be a dangerous weakening of the transatlantic alliance. We must stand together with the USA. VOA Some argue that the United States should not direct so many resources to Ukraine and should ensure that there are sufficient resources for possible conflicts in the Indo-Pacific. Rasmussen It is clear that resources are limited. But we must never forget that the world's democracies represent more than 60 of global GDP. If stand together, if we are united, then we'll represent a formidable force, which will create great respect in Beijing. We face a set of enemies that are at their strongest and most dangerous since World War II. We have seen the emergence of an axis of autocracies, led by China but also joined by Russia. Iran and North Korea. Iran and North Korea support Russia with missiles, drones and other means. We have seen how Iran and its proxies create instability in the Middle East. We have seen Hamas, Hezbollah and the Houthis threatening free movement in the Red Sea. All these represent an axis of autocracies. We in the free world have a clear interest in uniting, standing together, and opposing advancing autocracies. VOA How realistic are Ukraine's chances of receiving an invitation to join NATO at the organization's summit in Washington this July? Rasmussen I know this will be a tough fight. We need to prepare the details. And that's why I am in Washington, D.C. Because the United States will be a decisive actor in all of this. The idea of inviting Ukraine without American support is unrealistic. VOA you said you would meet with members of the Frido.